wish it could have turned out better for you, Teresa. But I had to do what's best for my client, my mother. It's over. Teresa is finished. Now I can concentrate on getting rid of Ivan. And then I will be left the one and the only Mrs. Julian Gray. Is the judge doing what you wanted? Patience, my pet. He has yet to read his final decision. Lining up all the evidence as presented by Mr. Winthrop, it doesn't look like Ms. Lopez Fitzgerald has much of a case. But frequently, in cases like these, the evidence isn't exactly as it seems. I won't bore everyone by taking you through a lengthy thought process now. You will have an opportunity to read my entire decision when I file my case later on. Do you understand what's happening? Please, Mother, let me listen. We've all had a long day. So in the interests of expediency, the court recognizes the divorce of Julian Crane and Ivy Crane. What? No! No! Order, I will not have any outbursts. Did he just say what I think he said? It sure sounded like. The court finds for Ms. Teresa Lopez Fitzgerald, hereafter to be known as Mrs. Julian Crane, the sole Mrs. Julian Crane. Oh, dear God. Ethan, Ethan. And the beneficiary of Julian Crane's entire estate. Estate, meaning... The... Holdings, power... And money? Every last nickel that sucker had. Oh! Mama, I'm fun! Mama, Mama. Outrage! Sit down, Mr. Winthrop. This case is closed. 